In this video, we're going to look at how to convert between metric and imperial units for length. Before watching this video, I'd recommend watching two other videos. One video on converting between metric units for length, and another video on converting between imperial units for length. And they're both available on corbettmaths.com. So here are four approximations that are quite useful to learn. One inch is approximately equal to 2.5 centimeters. You can look at your ruler and check that. One foot is approximately equal to 30 centimeters. So those 30 centimeter rulers, the larger rulers, they're roughly equal to one foot. One mile is approximately equal to 1.6 kilometers. I know this one off by heart because four laps of run and track is 1.6 kilometers, and that's roughly equal to a mile. And five miles is approximately equal to eight kilometers. If you times the third line here, this one mile is approximately equal to 1.6 kilometers by five, you would get five miles are approximately equal to eight kilometers. This one's quite useful because both numbers are integers. They're both whole numbers. Um, but I actually tend to use the one above myself. Okay, here we have got the, um, uh, conversion charts just they're quite useful to to use whenever you're doing these questions to go from inches to centimeters you times by 2.5 because one inch is equal to 2.5 centimeters so if you do one inch times 2.5 you get 2.5 centimeters and to go backwards into inches you divide by 2.5 to go from feet to centimeters you will times by 30 for instance two foot times 30 60 centimeters and to go backwards well 60 centimeters divided by 30 is equal to two foot and to go from miles into kilometers you times by 1.6 so for instance 10 miles times 1.6 is equal to 16 kilometers and divide by 1.6 well 16 divided by 1.6 is equal to 10 miles so that's how you convert using these so let's have a look at some questions the first question says convert five inches into centimeters so just remember that one inch is approximately equal to 2.5 centimeters that means to convert from inches into centimeters, you will times by 2.5. So we're gonna do five times 2.5. Five times two is equal to 10, and five times a half is equal to 2.5, so that would be 12.5 centimeters. So that means that five inches is approximately equal to 12.5 uh, centimeters. Next one. Convert 10 centimeters into inches. Remember that one inch is approximately equal to 2.5. 2.5 centimeters. So that means to go from our 10 centimeters into inches, we will divide by 2.5. So we're going to do 10 divided by 2.5. Uh, this one was quite straightforward because 2.5 plus 2.5 is 5 plus 2.5 is 7.5 plus 2.5 is 10. So that's would be 4. So it'd be 4 inches. Again, if you look at your ruler, that will give you a rough idea. Um, but yeah, so 4, uh, 10 centimeters is approximately equal to 4 inches. Next question convert four foot into centimeters. So remember one foot is approximately equal to 30 centimeters. So to go from feet to centimeters, you will times by 30. So we need to do four foot times by 30 is equal to 120 centimeters. So that means that one foot is approximately equal to 120 centimeters. Next question, convert 2.1 meters into feet. Now, looking at these conversions, we have got inches to centimetres, feet to centimetres, miles to kilometres. But we're not going to be using the miles to kilometres one. Uh, this one, the feet to centimetres, is the one we're going to be using. Okay. The reason is 2.1 uh, um, metres times 100 is equal to 210 centimetres. So we have got the one with, we have got centimetres and we have got feet that we're trying to get to. So one foot is approximately equal to 30 centimetres. So I want to go from centimeters into feet. So I'm going to be dividing by 30. So I'm going to do 210 centimeters, or 210, divided by 30, and that's equal to seven. So that's seven foot, seven feet, seven foot. So that means that 210 centimeters is approximately equal to seven foot, and that means that 2.1 meters is approximately equal to seven foot. Okay, convert four miles into kilometers. Well, one mile, is approximately equal to 1.6 kilometers. So if I want to go from four miles into kilometers, I'm going to times by 1.6. So I'm going to do four times 1.6. When I do four times 1.6, um, I'm just going to do this without a calculator. And the easiest way to times by four is to double it and double it again. So doubling 1.6 would be 3.2, and double again would be 6.4. So that'd be 6.4 kilometers. So that means that four miles is approximately equal to 6.4 kilometers. And our last question is to go backwards from kilometers into miles. So we're going to divide by 1.6. Again, if you need to check it, have a look at these, you know, to remind yourselves on how to do it. So one mile is approximately equal to 1.6 kilometers. 
So I want to go back into Maya, so I'm going to divide by 1.6. So I'm going to do 19.2 divided by 1.6. I'm going to do this without a calculator, okay? So if I want to do this division without a calculator, it's much easier, um, watch the division on dividing by decimals if you need to, it's much easier to change them both into, or to change the number you're dividing by, this 1.6, into a whole number. Well, to get 1.6 to be a whole number, we're going to times by 10 to divide by 16. And that means I'll also times this one by 10, so it'll be 192. So if I do 192 but divide by 16, I will get the same answer. So I need to do 192 divided by 16. 16 into 1 doesn't go, remainder 1. 16 into 19 goes once, remainder 3. And 16 into 32 goes twice. So the answer would be 12, so it's approximately equal to 12 miles. Okay. Um, so these these uh, conversion uh, facts are very important to learn. Um, I tend to learn the top three, but actually I know the bottom one as well. Uh, but they're just quite useful to learn off by heart.